Escape rooms are popping up everywhere. If you haven't been to one yet, I highly recommend it. I've been to four personally, and I absolutely love them. If you've got the kind of mechanical mind that likes solving mechanisms, solving challenges, and deciphering codes, Escape Room is probably for you. Which brings me on to this project today, which is inspired by Lowe's Home Improvement. Lowe's sponsored this collaboration and spent three months building an amazing escape room that has an incredible twist. Rather than just solving clues and unlocking locks, you actually have to put your DIY skills to the test and build your way out. I've never seen anything like it before. And they turned it into a video that you can go see right now by clicking the link at the top of the description. And on the theme of mystery, DIY escape rooms, and puzzle boxes, we have created this paint stick puzzle box for about $3. This is one that I want you to try at home. It's so much fun. And even though this thing looks really simple, there's much more to it than meets the eye. I'm gonna give you a couple seconds just to look at this box so you can see all the different aspects of it and you get a feel for it. Okay, if you shake that, you can hear there's something inside of it. No obvious way in. You may have noticed there is something here, right? If we try moving latches, everything seems pretty solid for the most part. There's a screw on the back there but no obvious way to open it. Okay. So what do you guys want to try first? I'm going to give you about five seconds to decide what's the first thing you want to try. Leave your comments down below. And my guess is you're going to go for this thing right here first because it stands out. There's nothing else on the box that looks like it. So let's give that a little wiggle. And if you tug that, look at that. We found a little makeshift screwdriver there. So have you seen anything on the box? that might need a screwdriver. Okay, you're probably telling me that the screw on the back. Is the screw on the back something that can be unscrewed? Well, let's see. Yeah, looks like it can. So we're gonna start unscrewing that. At this point, we can get into our fingers and just give it a little backwards motion. Look at that, a little drawer popped out. So that drawer actually comes out, it's got a key in it there. Now that key is actually just for props. We don't need it for this puzzle box, but just to demonstrate that there is something you could put in there. But there is a message at the bottom, it says to flip it over. So let's flip that over, and what we find is a design. Kinda looks like a domino or a dice. It's got five holes. What could that mean? Is there anything on the box anywhere? Oh, if we look inside there, we can see almost a little target sign, a little circle. And there's a hole there as well, that's interesting. So you can see that Okay, so as that slides out, that dowel goes into that hole, right? Very cool. All right, so what does the five mean? Let's focus on that. Oh, did you notice this right here? All these look like they have finishing nail holes. This one has five, so what could that mean? We take that and give it a little wiggle. Okay, there's a secret compartment there with a dowel. It's also got a little circle on the back here. Have you seen that circle anywhere else? We've seen that on the inside, right? So what could that mean? Well, if we touch that circle and give it a little push, we get access to the large compartment, which you can see has some tools in it. We have a wrench, we have an Allen wrench. Uh, again, those are just props showing that you can put other tools in there. You can put candy. We also have a couple of pictures. What are these? Okay, there you have it guys, the first reveal. This is a selfie I took at the Lowe's DIY escape room. Remember, there's a link at the top of the description. You can go watch the video we made. Uh, going through that and here's a picture of the team I went through with you can see Bob from the I like to make stuff YouTube channel and uh, This puzzle box wasn't used in the escape room, but you could use it in one of your own And of course to pack this thing back up. It's as easy as just pushing the pieces back together Did you notice that on the front there? There's pieces of that panel that prevents that from sliding too far back, which is really cool Then we put in the second mystery compartment the dowel locks that one into place so that it can't slide around this little piece down here acts as a secondary lock to prevent you from getting into that large compartment too early. And once that's in place, it blends right in. Then we can take our screwdriver and screw the screw back into place. The cool thing about this is as it tightens down, it actually pulls the panel in. So even people who are trying to wiggle the sides aren't necessarily gonna find it right away because it's locked down pretty tight. And then the screwdriver itself pops right into the side and your box is now self-contained and ready for your next victim.
Now, like I said, guys, these boxes can be used just to hide random stuff in your room, or you could actually use them as part of your own mystery escape room. The imagination is a limitation, guys. I want you to have fun with this. I want you to think outside the box, as it were, to create something inside the box. This box is a ton of fun. It's not too difficult to make. I'm gonna show you in the next video how to build this thing step by step, what measurements to use, what materials to use, and what order to follow to end up with something that looks exactly like what we have here. It took me about three weeks to prototype this, and the escape room with Lowe's, they literally spent three months building it, and they only let one group of people go through it one time. All that for the video that you see in the link in the description. So go check it out, it's a fun experience. I think you're gonna enjoy it as much as we did. Thanks for joining us for this project, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next one. Talk to you then. Hey guys, before you go, click right here to go see Bob and I take on the Lowe's Black Friday DIY escape room. It was an amazing experience. We had no idea what to expect once we got locked inside. So did we make it out in time? You can go see for yourself by clicking right here.